Cities like Marietta, Georgia are one of the things that makes living in Metro Atlanta so popular. The convenience of living so close to a major metropolitan city while having the comforts of suburban living can be found in many cities around Atlanta. But don't be confused, not all the cities around Atlanta are the same. With 150 cities making up all of Metro Atlanta, many people want to know which ones are the best. So today we're talking about the 10 best cities in Metro Atlanta. What's going on everybody? My name is Victor. I'm a local real estate agent here in Georgia and I put out weekly videos all about what it's like to live in Atlanta, Georgia and the surrounding cities. If you're thinking about moving to Atlanta or just want to know what it's like to live here, feel free to call, text me, email me anytime. I'm more than happy to help. Thank you so much to everyone who has reached out to me asking me about living in Atlanta, Georgia. My favorite thing to do in the world is help people get acquainted with my hometown. Right now, let's talk about the top 10 cities in Metro Atlanta. The first city that we're going to talk about is Peachtree City on the south side of Metro Atlanta. Located near the intersection of Highway 74 and 54, one of the things that they're known for is having these golf cart paths all around the city. And so it's very common for people who live in that city to have a golf cart and they take their golf cart to the store, grocery store, out to eat, you know, whatever they're doing around town, they will just take their golf cart around. Super convenient. The schools in Peachtree City are fantastic. Peachtree City is actually located in Fayette County. And for all of Georgia, Fayette County is very well known for having a great school district. Peachtree City is an absolutely beautiful city, very low crime rate, great schools, great proximity to the city of Atlanta. If you're thinking about living in Metro Atlanta, Peachtree City is a great option. Another thing about that city is uh, among all of the cities that we're talking about in this video, this one is the closest to uh, Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta Airport. So if being close to the airport is super important to you, definitely want to check out Peachtree City. The next city on the list is Woodstock, Georgia. Woodstock is on the other side of Metro Atlanta, on the north end, kind of close to the interstates uh, 575 and 75. Woodstock is a very rural town. It's not like uh, some of the other suburban cities that we're going to talk about today. Woodstock is in Cherokee County, which is a little farther out from Atlanta. To get to Atlanta from Woodstock, it would be about a 20 to 30 minute drive just to get to the really the border of the city of Atlanta. Uh, the average home value in Woodstock is about 400, 450. Woodstock has this super popular downtown area where lots of people come on evenings and weekends to hang out, spend time, go out to eat. There are a ton of restaurants there, uh, lots of shopping, a park, an amphitheater. Downtown Woodstock is really one of the highlights of the city of Woodstock. Outside of the downtown area in Woodstock though, the majority of the city is, like I said, a lot more rural. Um, the homes are not very close to each other because they're a little farther out from the city of Atlanta. So many of the homes there have a larger plot of land than say Marietta or Sandy Springs. Also Woodstock is very close to Lake Alatoona, which is a huge lake up here on the northeast side of Metro Atlanta. Lots of fishing, boating, swimming there on Lake Alatoona. So definitely one of the best cities in Metro Atlanta, Woodstock, Georgia. This next city is one of everybody's favorites, Alpharetta, Georgia. Alpharetta is certainly one of the best cities in all of Metro Atlanta, about 20 to 30 minutes to the city of Atlanta, very much suburban living there in Alpharetta, average home value there around 650, 700 for a home. Uh, Alpharetta has an amazing like downtown area. Um, they have this big green lawn there, lots of shops and restaurants, tons of people coming to hang out there in downtown Alpharetta. It's a very beautiful city as well. It's part of Fulton County, which is the same county that Atlanta is in. So property taxes there in Alpharetta are about the same as in Atlanta. And then a great place to spend time or go out to eat there in Alpharetta is the Avalon. The Avalon has a bunch of stores there, the Peloton store, the Apple store, lots of great restaurants there as well. Certainly if you're in Alpharetta, you want to check out the Avalon. Alpharetta is really like the gem of Metro Atlanta, so tons of people want to live there. The homes that are for sale there have lots of competition, 10 to 20 offers on a home, but that's because living in Alpharetta is amazing. 
Of course, if we're going to talk about Metro Atlanta, we can't forget about the heart of the South, the city of Atlanta. 500,000 people live in the city of Atlanta, an amazing city with cultural value that you can't find in any other part of the country. A beautiful melting pot, a major metropolitan city that's very often forgot about when talked about the big cities in the United States. Atlanta provides all kinds of different styles of living, suburban, rural, urban. You can find uh, homes as low as 200,000 in Atlanta and then as high as 10 million. There really is an amazing variety and range in the city of Atlanta, which is one of the best parts about the city. And then the next city on the list is Roswell. Roswell is actually just south of Alpharetta, also in Fulton County, and Roswell has home values that are a little less than Alpharetta, but still you have that same kind of suburban living. Many people who want to live in Alpharetta or work in Alpharetta will buy a home in Roswell because it's so close to the city of Alpharetta. Also, Roswell has uh, really a lot of great nature areas, green spaces, access to the Chattahoochee River, and the downtown Roswell area is also fantastic. Lots of shops and restaurants there, great walkability. Downtown Roswell is a great part of the city. Highway 9 also runs through the city of Roswell, and it leads right down to the Chattahoochee River where you can access Azalea Drive. Azalea Drive is a road that goes along the Chattahoochee River. It's an amazingly scenic road there. Lots of playgrounds and parks there on Azalea Drive. One of the most beautiful parts of the city of Roswell. Next, we have one of my all-time favorite cities of Metro Atlanta, Marietta. Marietta is my hometown, so I'm definitely a little biased towards this city, but Marietta really has everything that there is to offer. The proximity to Atlanta, the suburban living. Also, Marietta is a huge city, so there is uh, lots of home value range in the city of Marietta, from as low as 350 up into about six, seven million for a home. Marietta is a city that is, uh, has a bit more history and is a bit older than say Alpharetta. And so while the homes in Marietta are a bit older, you can get more home for your money in Marietta than you can in Alpharetta. Certainly the homes in Alpharetta are much newer, a lot more new builds. Uh, the city in general is not as old as Marietta. But that's really one of the things that makes the city of Marietta so unique. Its historical value, its charm, the amount of character that the city of Marietta has really is one of the best parts about the city. Sandy Springs is a very unique city as far as the cities around Metro Atlanta go. It's actually located just north of the city of Atlanta and is in many ways like an extension of the city of Atlanta. Much of the commercial areas and the high rises really still continue into the city of Sandy Springs. While it's not the same city as Atlanta, it seems in a lot of ways very similar to the city of Atlanta. Some of the big differences between Sandy Springs and Atlanta though is that uh, most of Sandy Springs is north of Interstate 285 which makes it a little bit more suburban. Really like half of Sandy Springs is a suburban kind of living and then the other half of Sandy Springs is more like Atlanta, more urban. It's very common for young people who are just starting out their careers to live in the city of Sandy Springs because it provides that kind of suburban lifestyle but it provides very easy access to the city of Atlanta. Really five minutes I means Sandy Springs borders the city of Atlanta so you can get into Atlanta very quickly. Another thing that makes Sandy Springs so unique is that it is so close to the Chattahoochee River. The Chattahoochee River is really a popular place for people to go swimming and boating, and so the people who live there in Sandy Springs have very easy access to the river. So tons of nature, tons of green space there in Sandy Springs, and then also that easy access to Atlanta really makes Sandy Springs a super unique city. This next city is the city of Duluth, which is on the northeast part of Metro Atlanta. Some of the main roads that run through Duluth are Buford Highway and Peachtree Industrial Boulevard. Duluth is also known for having great schools as well. They're in Gwinnett County. And as far as school districts go, Gwinnett County is certainly one of the best for schools in all of Metro Atlanta. The city of Duluth has a population of about 30,000 people and the average home value there is about 450. 
This next city is the city of Suwannee, which is actually just a little bit north of the city of Duluth. It's very similar to Duluth, but it's a little farther away from the city of Atlanta, which makes Suwannee a bit more rural. Um, typically, the homes there have lot sizes that are a little bit larger than the city of Duluth, but Suwannee is also in Gwinnett County, which again has the best school district, arguably, in all of Metro Atlanta. The school district there is well known really across the country. And then the average home value there in Suwannee is very similar to Duluth, around 450. This next city is Johns Creek, which is like Alpharetta and Roswell, also part of Fulton County. Johns Creek is located just east of Alpharetta and Roswell, so they are very similar to those cities and many of the other cities that are in Fulton County. Great school district, great location, great public services for the citizens there. And then average home value there in Johns Creek is about 600,000. But if you're going to move to the city of Atlanta, there really are a few things you need to know about. Make sure that you watch this video so you don't miss any of them.